Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. Now, if you're an NVIDIA GTX 980 owner, you've probably had a look at the GTX 980 Ti and considered it as a an upgrade as well. But um, you may want to think about overclocking your GTX 980 and seeing if it actually matches the performance of a GTX 980 Ti. As you may say, we sell quite a bit of money. Now what I'm going to do is overclock a GTX 980 to around about 1500 MHz on the core clock and about 1856 on the memory and I'm going to leave the GTX 980 Ti at complete stock settings. I'm not too sure um, what card is going to perform better as I do know the GTX 980 does perform pretty well when it's overclocked to around 1500 MHz but um, the point of this video is if you can close the gap to within four to five frames per second then you may want to just consider overclocking instead of actually going out and purchasing the new card. So just to quickly go over my specs I am using an Intel i7 4790K which I've overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. I'm using an Asus Maximus 7 Ranger Z97 motherboard with 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro series um, DDR3 running at uh, 2400 megahertz. Um, I have overclocked it to uh, 2800 megahertz as well. Um, when it comes to drivers, I'm using 353.62, which is the latest drivers, and I'm also using Windows 10 Professional Edition. Before I get into the games, I just want to quickly show you the overclock settings I'm using on the GTX 980. So I first overclock, well I increase my voltage to 25 millivolts. Um, I increase the power limit to the maximum. On this card it's 125%. Um, this is already a factory overclocked card so it doesn't take as much um, overclocking as it would a reference design GTX 980 to reach 1500 MHz so I increased the core clock by 165 MHz and the memory by 330 MHz so once we get in game we should be clearing 1500 MHz and the memory is running at 1900 MHz so um, it's a pretty solid overclock and hopefully um, it should be a good test for the stock GTX 980 Ti. So here's a quick look at the cards I'm going to be using for this comparison. To my left I'm using the Zotac Amp Edition GTX 980, uses a tri-fan design. And uh, to my right I'm using an Inno 3D GTX 980 Ti with a reference design. So uh, these are the cards I want to use for the comparison and uh, let's see if an overclocked GTX 980 can match a stock GTX 980 Ti.
wife's mum got all suckers. So that's about it for uh, the GTX 980 overclocked versus a stock GTX 980 Ti. But when you look at the two cards, there's a £136 difference in the UK between both cards. And these are like the pretty much the cheapest models you can buy. So you got to ask yourself, if you can do a bit of overclocking on your GTX 980, you can pretty much get the performance of a stock GTX 980 Ti for £136 less. Obviously you can overclock the GTX 980 Ti and you obviously also get an extra 2 gigabytes of VRAM so um, it's something to consider but I just wanted to point it out there. This is one of the instances where overclocking does make a lot of sense if you know how to do it. Anyway that's enough for me guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.